Hi again. Okay, so I think this is the last of my mini series for today. And this is just how you apply your finishing powder. You can use a translucent powder, but because I'm not really happy with the way my my skin looks, um, I tend to use a mineral powder. So I use this one, which is Bare Essentials. I know half the world uses it, but it's good. It's really good stuff, and one pot will last you forever. This did start off as the medium beige um, but I've applied I've, I've mixed in a bit of their bronzer into it because I'm just crazy about bronzer anyway, once you've done all your makeup you don't have to you don't necessarily have to put your powder on before your blush I like to put on afterwards um, and because you get a more natural finish so you basically go over here if you're wearing a, a eyeshadow then obviously don't go over that um, if you put like pencils and stuff in your brows, this kind of just like neutralizes it a bit. And then just keep swirling in there. And I would apply powder here and just here. And then keep swirling in there and then here. You don't want to go too crazy applying too much, you just want to apply a very thin veil of the stuff because especially if you've already spent um, a lot of work like contouring and stuff and this is just how you would apply your finishing powder if you've put a very light concealer on just blend it in, kind of disguise it in there um, and something that's not very important, but instead of doing it as a separate one, let me just put it into here. Um, this is Throb by Benefit, and it is just the lightest, lightest pink. It just does not even show up. I don't even know why they've called it a blush. Um, yeah, so just put some on there, and then if you want to have a bit up there, and that just adds a tiny highlight, and then a tiny bit ever so tiny bit there because you don't want it to be um, translated as shine and that's basically it and you can put some over your lips slightly if you want careful with the benefit powders though because some people say use it here and it specifically says on the back somewhere oh god I think is it under the label somewhere under the sticker maybe and it says do not use on eyes because it's not suitable for use on your eyes I don't know where it says it, but it does. Don't use on your eyes. Um, and just a finishing touch would be your mascara. As you know, I don't wear mascara. Um, and your gloss. And even though I'm wearing like a beigey browny one, I would put on a pinky gloss. Something similar to this, which is the Grapefruit Super Balm Moisturizing Gloss. And you just need a tiny, tiny touch of that. And then blend it out with your finger, or if you have time with a brush. And um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed my little mini series for today. And if there's anything else you want me to do, do let me know because I do actually enjoy doing this. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.